Step into the enchanting world of classic Hollywood as we delve into the life of a remarkable actor. This individual has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many through his unique performances that set him apart from his peers during the golden era of cinema. As we reflect on the body of work that this artist has gifted us, perhaps there's a specific moment that has etched itself into your memory. Feel free to share your amusing, surprising, or poignant stories related to this timeless star in the comments below. What makes this actor truly memorable isn't just the roles he portrayed, but the distinctive way he stood out in a sea of talent during his time. Share your thoughts and memories, and let's celebrate the indomitable spirit of this classic star. Stay tuned for some captivating anecdotes about this actor's life tales that are sure to intrigue, amuse, and maybe even tug at your heartstrings. Your journey through the life of this remarkable individual is about to get more fascinating. Exploring the golden age of Hollywood reveals the remarkable talent of an actor whose versatility and depth captivated audiences across various genres. His filmography boasts classics like a heartwarming comedy drama set during the holiday season and a poignant portrayal of the challenges faced by an elderly couple. These timeless movies offer a glimpse into his talent and the iconic era of Hollywood. Discovering his work for the first time or revisiting his classics, audiences are in for a treat as they delve into the captivating performances of this legendary actor. In the realm of entertainment, a remarkable individual stands out, sharing a familial link with actor Michael Lloyd as his great-great-grandfather. Commencing his journey in show business alongside his first spouse in vaudeville, this partnership endured for decades until her passing. Following this, a surprising chapter unfolded when he wedded Shirley Page. Keeping their union private for a year and a half before unveiling it to the public, they embarked on a unique journey together. Despite the notable age gap, he, 67, and she, 21 at the time of announcement. Notably, in the film Make Way for Tomorrow, our protagonist took on the role of Barkley Cooper alongside Beulah Bondi, portraying elderly parents abandoned by their children. However, during filming, their actual ages were 61 and 48, respectively, showcasing their skill in convincingly embodying older characters. Throughout his career, this actor's versatility and unwavering dedication to the craft remain evident leaving a lasting imprint on the industry. His contributions to the world of entertainment extend beyond just the big screen, demonstrating a prowess and influence that resonate throughout the years. This narrative encapsulates the essence of a career that goes beyond the surface, highlighting the impact this individual has had on the industry. In the golden age of Hollywood, a beloved actor left his mark not just on the silver screen, but also on the streets of Jackson Heights, Queens. His final appearance in a movie came in a film where he shared the screen with Marilyn Monroe. Following that, his property in Jackson Heights was transformed into a bustling hub known as the Victor Moore Arcade. This arcade, nestled between Roosevelt Ave, Broadway, and 75th Saint, became a landmark in its own right. Interestingly, it even made a cameo in Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man. Family was crucial to him, and he had children named Victor Jr., Aura, and Robert. These personal details offer insight into the man behind the roles, showcasing a person whose influence extended from the big screen to the streets of Queens. In the fast-paced world of entertainment, the pressure to stay forever young is a constant struggle for many performers. It's a challenge that forces individuals to navigate between staying true to their craft and conforming to industry expectations. For one seasoned actor, this struggle is all too familiar. He finds himself constantly battling against the relentless demands of an industry that values youth above experience. The quest for roles becomes a delicate balancing act between showcasing his talent and succumbing to the pressure to appear eternally youthful. Beyond the surface pressures, there are deeper challenges that come with the pursuit of an acting career. The sacrifices required are immense from the demanding schedules to the personal sacrifices made in the name of art. In this tumultuous journey, he contends not only with external pressures, but also with internal conflicts. The desire to make a lasting impact through his work clashes with the need for personal fulfillment and well-being. Ultimately, his story reflects the universal struggles faced by actors in an unforgiving industry. It's a narrative that resonates with the shared experiences of many in the world of entertainment. In the bustling streets of Jackson Heights, Queens, New York, an iconic arcade once served as a vital connection between subway entrances and exits and a nearby bus terminal. Sadly, this arcade met its demise during the reconstruction of the Roosevelt Ave subway station in 2005. Nevertheless, its legacy lives on through the Victor Amore bus terminal, a nod to its historical importance. 
Born into the world of theater in the late 19th century, our protagonist embarked on a journey that would take him from silent roles to the silver screen and eventually back to the Broadway stage. From humble beginnings in the Wakening 1993 Boston Theater production of Babes in the Woods, he transitioned to Broadway and vaudeville before trying his luck in the burgeoning world of movies. After a fateful trip to Los Angeles for an appendectomy in 1915, he found himself drawn to the allure of Hollywood. Initially cast in five real features for Jesse L. Lasky, he soon found his niche in one real situation comedies for Paramount. Despite occasional film appearances until the mid-30s, his heart belonged to the stage, where he returned in 1918. His cinematic swan song came in the form of portraying a plumber in the seven-year itch, marking the end of his illustrious career as a stage comedian. His journey, from humble beginnings to the heights of entertainment, showcased his remarkable versatility and enduring legacy in the industry. In a rare appearance, Victor Moore starred in a sound film depicting the role of Vice President Throttlebottom in a scene from Of The I Sing. This footage was showcased on an Edward R. Murrow See It Now program in 1951, which focused on the Vice Presidency. Surprisingly, it wasn't part of a movie adaptation of Of The I Sing as such a film has never been made. Interestingly, there is a 1972 television production of the musical that exists on videotape. In another performance, he appeared as a lawyer's client in Ziegfeld Follies. This variety show featured various acts, including Bring on the Beautiful Girls with Fred Astaire, Lucille Ball, and Virginia O'Brien, as well as Pay the Two Dollars featuring him alongside Edward Arnold. The lineup also included memorable performances by James Melton, Marion Bell, Keenan Wynn, Lena Horne, Red Skelton, Judy Garland, and a collaboration between Astaire and Gene Kelly and the Babbitt in the Bromide. Primarily recognized for his comedic talent, he demonstrated his versatility across different roles. From the humorous of the, I sing to the comedic pay, the two dollars in Ziegfeld Follies, his performances showcased his ability to contribute to various genres. This contributed significantly to the entertainment industry, leaving a notable impression. In an unexpected twist, Victor Moore, known for his funny roles, went through tough financial times later in life. He put a lot of money into a hotel project in Florida, but it went bust, leaving him with big debts. This was a big change from the happy characters he played in movies. It shows that even people who make others laugh can have tough times themselves. Despite all this, Victor Moore stayed strong and faced his problems. He kept working in the entertainment business until he passed away, leaving a story of humor and not giving up. Navigating the challenges of financial hardship, he faced unexpected obstacles despite a prosperous career in the entertainment industry. The once cheerful performer, known for spreading joy on the silver screen, found himself grappling with the harsh realities of bankruptcy in the midst of economic downturns. Surprising both friends and fans, his life's narrative took an unforeseen and somber turn. The jovial persona that had become synonymous with his name was overshadowed by the shadows of economic woes. It serves as a poignant reminder that even those dedicated to bringing joy through their artistic endeavors are not immune to life's capricious nature. From the pinnacle of success to the depths of financial despair, his journey underscored the fragility of human existence and the vulnerability that accompanies fame. The irony of a man who made a career out of entertaining others finding himself in dire straits adds layers of complexity to the narrative, leaving a lasting impression on those who reflect on the story. In the end, his tale is a reflection of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity, a stark reminder that life's journey is marked by unexpected twists. His legacy, both on and off the screen, serves as a source of inspiration and contemplation for generations to come. Victor Moore, a seasoned actor, led a life marked by unexpected twists. One shocking fact about him is his tragic involvement in a fire incident during the production of a Broadway play. In an unfortunate turn of events, a stage light malfunction, causing a fire that claimed the life of one crew member. Despite being unharmed physically, the incident left Victor more deeply affected emotionally. He faced immense guilt, grappling with the harsh reality that a fellow colleague had lost their life under his watch. The incident cast a somber shadow over Moore's career, influencing him profoundly. This tragic event serves as a poignant reminder of the unforeseen challenges that can unfold in the world of entertainment. In an unexpected turn of events, Victor Moore, despite his enduring career, faced financial difficulties in his later years. Struggling to make ends meet, he found himself in a dire situation forced to declare bankruptcy. This revelation came as a shock to many, as Moore had been a prominent figure in the entertainment industry for decades. Despite his talent and contributions, he found himself in a position of financial instability, 
highlighting the precarious nature of success in show business. It serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by even the most seasoned performers, emphasizing the need for financial planning and stability in an unpredictable industry.